It is my pleasure to welcome students, parents, and guests to the annual Robert C.J. Traub Art and Music Awards program. To start our program, we ask that you first please stand, face the flag for our Star Spangled Banner, and then to remain standing afterwards for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you again. Thank you, Mrs. Riley. Thank you, Jills and Corral. This afternoon, we honor four senior music and 14 senior art students for their outstanding effort. These students have demonstrated the highest level of success. Their resumes are a true dedication to their work, and not surprising, they're some of our top academic students. For our honorees this afternoon, art and music have been a core part of their life, literally defining their focus and purpose. They have learned to see and hear life in many ways where others do not. Their body of work has been self-fulfilling, bringing much of them deserve passion and pride. It has also helped set the stage for them to be well prepared for future life ambitions. Just as important, our tribe honorees have also learned many important life lessons through their work, such as giving back to others and truly understanding culture on a much more humanistic and global context. They are risk takers, taking many chances on various stages and exhibitions, and quite honestly, leading by example. Before we move on, I wanted to recognize several groups in our audience this morning. First, down in front here, the auditorium parents. Thank you for supporting. <laughs> Thank you for supporting your son and daughter's passion. You should be very proud of their efforts and how they've enriched the lives of all of us. I know it was not always an easy journey. Practice, recitals, lessons, camps, competitions, etc sacrifices that you all made on so many different levels. So if I could have the parents please stand and be recognized. Thank you parents for all your efforts with these outstanding 18 students. As I read through the portfolios of each of these students, many of our honorees also cited the work of our art and music teachers in their essays as a major reason for their success. As you know, all of these teachers have spent countless hours helping, each, helping teach, support, inspire our TROB students both in and out of the classroom. 
They are well known regionally and throughout the state for their achievement and efforts to promote art and music here at Bloomfield Hills High School. They lead by example as many of them are still practicing artisans. Please help, help me recognize them. Could I have all our art and music teachers please stand and be recognized for their efforts this afternoon. Finally, this lasting scholarship would not be possible if not for the efforts of one very special individual and her family. Scholarship programs often do not stand the test of time without the support of family members to continue the legacy. Every spring, our rite of passage is to welcome her back to lead the adjudication process here at the high school. Her commitment to this scholarship and to honor top art and music students lives on. You will hear the history of this award from her in just a few minutes. Representing the Traub family, please help me recognize Miss Lucy Bates. Lucy, please stand and be recognized. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the High School Symphony Band under the direction of Mr. Alan Posner. Again, welcome and thank you.
And it's my pleasure this time to welcome to the podium to, to talk about the Traub Award history. Please give a warm welcome to Miss Lucy Bates. I don't really like to talk about the history. I'm just excited about the people who are here today. Um, so um, first I'd like to read to you from um, the report from last year's music winner, Margaret Williams. Traveling to Vienna was everything I hoped it would be. Everything from street performers to the concert halls immersed me in a culture that continuously bridges the gaps between historical composers like Beethoven, Strauss, and Mozart to the future of music in Vienna and around the world. It was incredible to be able to spend time in a place where art and music are celebrated constantly, and I never felt so connected to the composers and compositions I've studied for most of my life through the violin. Having this opportunity has allowed me to experience an amazing new city, country, and culture. This trip has reinforced my love of music as an art and as part of cultural history, and I know I'll find myself in Vienna again someday. That makes me feel good. The Traub um, Memorial uh, Travel Scholarships will be awarded for the 60th year today. It reflects my grandparents' love of the arts. Robert's instrument was the flute. His wife, Elizabeth, chose the violin. They performed in a quartet with friends and played on Sunday afternoons for enjoyment. The music component of the scholarship especially honors him. The four music applicants here today performed for the adjudicating committee last week. More than a requirement for the scholarship, it seemed to me a series of recitals. I can truly say, too bad you could not be there to share the experience. It was a joy to listen. It makes me proud of the school, the music faculty, and especially the four music applicants. So here's a bit of one of the application essays, not necessarily the winner. With a swipe of the baton, the tension breaks, and the wave of music crashes against the seawall of anxious audience members as the trumpets roar a triumphant melody. Meanwhile, the low notes retreat with the sea's waves while the first violins maintain a piercing tremolo. A feeling is created. I can never forget that feeling, like a cool breeze which raises hairs and causes goosebumps as it makes its way to the soul. It's a sort of indescribable ecstasy. No words were spoken or sung, yet every attentive listener and performer experienced something. An emotion was communicated. Everyone felt it. Herein lies the reason why music is so incredibly important to me. Art is the other half of the story. My grandmother was first an artist. She founded the scholarship upon the loss of her husband to foster art in the public school in her neighborhood. I know she would be very gratified to know that scholarships, the scholarships are still coveted after all these years by ever more accomplished and sophisticated seniors. The 14 2017 art applicants displays are in the media center. You must see them for the artwork speaks for itself. All art applicants are, were accomplished, they accomplished what they intended. They have demonstrated remarkable ability, ambition, and follow through. Needless to say, choosing just one was a daunting task. After participating as the art guest adjudicator, Bill Nippa wrote, I do admire the integrity and honesty of those who shared the decision-making process. It was not an easy one. The art students were all winners in their own individual ways. Their art presentations show creativity, focus, and hard work. A balanced committee of seven deliberate to make the difficult choices for both awards. Adjudicators represent, representing the faculty, school administration are included. It also includes a guest and myself as the Traub family representative. Preparing the application and, a, and presenting to the panel, 
are accomplishments in themselves. Congratulations to all the TROB candidates. To those who create a friendly arts environment, more thank yous here <laughs> in the Bloomfield Hills schools so that the students can thrive. Thank you. Thank you to the board, the administration for maintaining a strong arts program here. The parents, I know how important the study of music and art can be. And I have read in the students' resumes how generously you support your teens with private lessons, summer programs, and more. And the teachers, you are the linchpins, sharing knowledge, encouragement, and the love of your subject with your students. One final excerpt from an applicant in art this year, who is not necessarily the winner, I always have to say that. Artistry is simultaneously following a long, rich tradition of creating and trailblazing. I love how when I'm working in the studio, I have the power to create something that is uniquely my own. At one point, I was a shy little girl who was self-conscious and had trouble relating her feelings. Being able to share my thoughts and harness my creativity through art gave me an emotional outlet more powerful than my words. Even more than that, there was no pretending to be someone else in art. I didn't have to worry about being who I wasn't just to fit in because having something unique to say is the greatest thing of all. I hope we can all agree, the arts are not expendable, they're critical. Every child deserves a chance to participate. Thank you. And now it's time to meet our Art Trob candidates, and to do that, I welcome to the podium art teacher, Mr. Matt Beauchamp. Good afternoon. Um, as I call your name, please come up so you can be recognized. Isabel Allo. Ana Barrera Garza. <laughs> Dara Bellinson. Olivia D'Angelo. <laughs> Helena Gregg. Talia Greenberg. <coughs> Elizabeth Hungerman. Anna McGuffey.
Kendall Morgenstein. Rochelle Saker. Stephanie, Stephanie Stan. <laughs> Betsy Stubbs. Catherine Titang. <laughs> and finally, Vanessa Wang. We often hear negative messages about today's adolescents. Many believe that today's youth lack motivation, perseverance, that they do the bare minimum just to get by. In the case of these 14 fine young artists, nothing could be further from the truth. On behalf of myself and the art department, it has been a true privilege to work with these students. They exemplify what it means to be committed to the craft, to produce the best possible art, they worked during their lunch hours and after school. They worked on weekends and took classes to extend their learning. When we, as art teachers, challenged them to expand their definitions of art, they gladly rose to the occasion, pushing the boundaries of their creativity. These young artists were unique in that they worked exceptionally well as a group, collaborating and encouraging each other. Throughout their high school careers, they developed close camaraderie and mutual respect for each other. Years like this are golden moments that we as teachers cherish. When we reflect upon our careers as educators, it is outstanding groups of students like this one that illustrate why our profession is so rewarding. As these young women prepare to embark on their post high school journeys, I am certain that they will achieve many great things and prove to the world that today's adolescents will indeed become the great leaders of tomorrow. Thank you. And now the time has come to announce the Traub Art alternate winner and winner. And to do this, I welcome to the podium our superintendent of schools, Dr. Robert Glass. Good afternoon, everyone. It is really an honor to be here with you today. I'd like to introduce just a few people uh, who are also here to share in this um, momentous occasion, a couple of our board members, um, Cynthia Von Oyen and Howard Barron. So thank you for coming. <laughs> Next to them, uh, Adam Scher, who helps coordinate, uh, Principal Adam Scher from Way School, who also helps coordinate our fine arts program here within the district. And also our new Assistant Superintendent for Instruction, Todd Bidlack, is here somewhere. I, I don't know where he is, but he's here today. There he is, right there. And now for our Traub Art Alternate. This year's Art Alternate has been heavily involved in both art and many other Bloomfield Hills High School opportunities, leaving very little time for sleep. 
In addition to her love of art, she spends a great deal of her time volunteering with children, which she says was a very positive experience in terms of learning to be flexible and creative in one's thinking. Having had instruction in drawing, sculpture, and figure drawing, it's no surprise that this artist has received several awards in scholastic art, including a gold key portfolio, four gold keys, five silver keys, and three honorable mentions. An accomplished artist and dedicated student, join me in congratulating this year's art alternate, Elizabeth Hungerman. And now for our Traub Art winner. This year's art winner is an accomplished individual. In addition to taking courses in drawing and painting, photography and ceramics and sculpture, this student has volunteered hundreds of hours of their time with young children. As an artist, the winner has participated in many art exhibits, showcasing her talents that earned her a regional gold key and a regional honorable mention in the Scholastics Art and Writing Competition. This artist winner has explored her passion at the Pontiac Creative Arts Center, where she took courses in wood turning and ceramics. She also pitched in for the recent production of Les Mis right here in Bloomfield Hills High School on this stage by sanding, painting, staining, and reupholstering set pieces. She dreams of traveling to Italy because she says it is her lifelong wish to join the storytellers of the world and embark on the path carved by the masters of history and art. I want to see the long gone fit footprints of those like Rodin, who in seeking inspiration and knowledge journeyed to Rome to study the great works of Michelangelo. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating Anna Barrera Garza. And now please welcome back to the stage, Ms. Jessica Riley with the Bloomfield Chorale and Jills.
And now to introduce our music candidates this afternoon, our director of orchestras, Mr. Scott Wolf. Good afternoon. Um, it is absolutely my pleasure to be part of this great tradition in the Bloomfield Hills Schools. I found out that since 1956, the Bloomfield Hills Schools has been presenting this award and supporting young artists through the wonderful gift of Robert C.J. Traub. Um, the Traub Family Art Scholarships have benefited the reputation of Bloomfield Hills School District as a destination district for great arts programs. And while all across the state, including Bloomfield Hills Schools, funding for the arts program is being reduced, the Traub Scholarship has been in place and has remained to reward fine performers in both visual and performing arts. I'd like to call all of the Traub music winners to the stage right now, if you wouldn't mind, and come right up in front here while I introduce you. The artists before you represent the entire musical community. As student musicians, they perform alongside of all of you every day and have since elementary school. They have been influenced by all the teachers in the Bloomfield Hills School District, and we as a music faculty thank you for your dedication in music. It is now my honor to introduce the four candidates who exemplify the Traub traditions and the Bloomfield Hills Schools Music Department. Miles Eichenhorn. <laughs> Miles is a wonderful tenor who comes to us representing the vocal department. Miles' performance resume has earned him a role from storytelling all the way to his outstanding role in Les Mis as Javert. Miles plans on attending NYU in the fall and majoring in musical theater. Nathan Gittleman. Nathan is an impressive jazz guitarist who loves to bring the joy of jazz to all who are willing to listen. Nate has an incredible performance degree in jazz. Not, it, is, it is not uncommon to hear in the halls of the music wing the whole hallway light up with Nate's guitar. Nate will be attending the Cincinnati Conservatory of Music in the fall as a jazz major. Miles Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Saxophonist extraordinaire whose musicianship is to be emulated by all musicians. Many people play the saxophone, but few have the musical skills of this young musician. Miles was selected as one of the top saxophonists in the state and was asked to perform at the Michigan Youth Arts Festival in May. Miles will be attending Western Michigan University in the fall as a saxophone major. Thomas Paul. <laughs> Thomas is a wonderful cellist who loves, whose love for music can only be matched by his caring for others. Tom's dedication to music has led him into the finest orchestras and choirs. As a singer, he has found incredible success in choir and as a cellist has been selected as one of Michigan's finest. Tom's love of music also reaches into composition, and his recent cello duet will be a work that will stand the test of time. While Tom is not yet committed to a university, he plans on studying music and medicine. These four musicians are clearly some of the finest representative of the Bloomfield Hill Schools. As a representative of all of your music teachers, from elementary to high school, I congratulate you all. I have a little award for you here. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Glass to introduce or introduce, award our awards, award the travel awards, Dr. Glass. So we will begin with our music alternate. 
As a musician, this student has participated in MSBOA, performed in the marching band, and has even created his own music. He has performed in many different venues and thoroughly enjoys jazz music. He was the first runner-up outstanding soloist in Class B of the CMU Jazz Fest and accepted to both the Wayne State Jazz Guitar Program and the Cincinnati Conservatory of Music. He says he greatly appreciates Django, a musician who had two fingers fused together in a fire, because he says that Django was more than just a guitarist to me. He was symbolic of all the things that someone can do, even under harsh circumstances. Congratulations to this year's music alternate, Nathan Gittleman. And now to our Traub Music winner. This year's music winner has participated in many musical opportunities, including some in this very auditorium, such as productions of West Side Story and Les Mis. He is incredibly dedicated to his craft, practicing long hours and honing his talent with the support of mentors and coaches. He has been awarded numerous times, both locally and nationally, and though he is still undecided about his college choice, his musical abilities, combined with his performance skills, are sure to land him in headlines for years to come. Several stories told through music theater are international stories, and pieces within this uniquely American art form have expanded to reflect the experiences of individuals around the world. To understand music theater from only an American perspective is to scratch only the surface of this rich, unique, and deeply personal art form. Ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate this year's music winner, Miles Eichenhorn. One final reminder to TROB students, their parents, and our VIPs and guests here this afternoon, please join us immediately following uh, this, uh, this presentation in the Media Center so you can see the outstanding artwork and uh, also get to meet these outstanding students. And with that, please everybody, these are extremely talented and gifted students we'd like to honor one more time. So could I please have the TROB participants, all of them, stand one more time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give these outstanding students a round of applause. Thank you very much and thank you for attending the 2017 Tribe Awards Assembly.